NDAG owns both the Bleicheroda and the Zollstedt mining fields, covering areas of roughly 67 square kilometers and 56 square kilometers respectively. By the time potash mining was discontinued in 1990, 86 million tons of raw salt had been extracted from Bleicherode and 84 million tons mined in Zollstedt. In 1990, there were 16 million cubic meters of post-mining voids in Bleicherode and 17.5 million cubic meters in Zollstedt. Mining work stopped abruptly, resulting in significant risks for public safety. The mining activities have led to considerable subsidence in some parts of the region. The resulting deformations and compressions have led to significant stress in the infrastructures above the mining fields, such as the Vipa and Boda riverbeds. The electrified Halle Castle Railway, the A38 Autobahn and buildings in the various communities. The overlying rock is not homogeneous, which results in seismic shocks of varying intensity. This can lead in extreme cases to rock bursts which have similar effects to earthquakes. Packing backfill into the remaining mine voids is an effective means of reducing risk levels. To guarantee public safety, the local mining authority decreed that the mining fields, which are at particular risk, should be backfilled. This is being carried out in line with strict legal requirements. Since 1991, the Bleicherode mine has been involved in producing hydraulic backfill mixtures using non-mining waste. A practical method has been developed based on extensive research and trials carried out in labs and on site. A basic precondition for backfilling using non-mining waste is proven long-term safety. The elastic viscous deformation properties of the salt mine and its recrystallization capacity ensure a full seal around the backfill mass. Expert reports have also documented the long-term safety of the Bleicherode and Zollstedt mining fields. The non-mining waste mixture is based on specifically developed recipes and should exhibit certain legally stipulated physical properties once the filling process is complete. Backfill materials include filter dust, slag, solid reaction products from flue gas treatment, used foundry sand, blasting residues, sludge, filter cakes, salts, contaminated soil and furnace residue. Only inorganic mineral waste is used, but no refuse. The waste can be in the form of dust, solid pieces or a paste. Spontaneously combustible, explosive, infectious, noxious, gas-emitting substances or substances which react with the host rock may not be used for backfilling. The hydraulic backfill equipment is set up above ground at the Bleicherode site. The waste material is delivered either by road or rail. The delivery point is at the center of the plant. On delivery, the material is weighed and subjected to an acceptance check at the vehicle weigh bridge. Strict checks are essential, an obligation that NDHE takes very seriously. Samples are extracted from all deliveries before they're unloaded. The material is visually inspected and checked for odors. Then a sample is taken and labeled. A representative sample is created, which is then analyzed by an independent lab. A further sample is stored in the company's sample room, where it's stored for at least a year.
the local mining authority and the Office for the Environment carry out external checks unannounced. Tankers are assigned to their corresponding silo following the acceptance check. The tankers are emptied using compressed air. The screws feed the waste into the mixers. Four silos are linked by conveying systems to form the mixer system. Here the waste is mixed with mine lye in specified ratios. The saturation of the mining lye is set so that it doesn't affect the host rock. The backfill mixture is fed from the mixer to the suspension container from where it's pumped into the hydraulic tank. Bulk material and sludge is tipped into a covered hall for temporary storage. To prevent blockages, foreign objects and oversized pieces can be separated from the bulk material. The graded fraction is then fed to the hydraulic backfill container by elevators and conveyor belts. Sludge is processed in the pulper. Tractor shovels are used to load the pulper. The materials are hydraulically pulped using the hydraulic backfill suspension. Waste can also be fed to the pulper from the big bag emptying unit. The finished backfill mixture is pumped continuously into the hydraulic container. To avoid sedimentation, the suspension is kept in motion in the hydraulic container by a stirrer. After one or two hours, the hydraulic suspension is pumped through the system into the prepared mine. The suspension consistency is controlled to prevent blockages in the hydraulic pipes, which are 7 kilometers or more in length. Pressure sensors and flow meters monitor the flushing process in the critical piping sections. The mixtures are designed so that the backfill material is self-leveling. Any rock salt existing in the mine chambers is sealed in from all sides. even the smallest voids are packed. The backfill mass is in direct contact with the rock and no contraction fissures form. If drainage conditions are favorable, the backfill surface can be walked on after just two days. The hardness of the backfill material is measured at set intervals by an external lab. Drainage of the backfill mass is a critical part of the process, both from a structural and from a technical viewpoint. Backfill blocks are planned so that excess lye can drain from the mass. If necessary, passages or mine chambers may need to be sealed by dams. The lye is collected in pools from where it's pumped to the main pumping chamber. It's then pumped back up above ground and returned to the mixing cycle.
waste processing equipment is operated using memory programmable control systems. These are used to block off and monitor individual parts of the system. If set limits are exceeded, sound and visual warning signals are triggered and, if necessary, the system is automatically shut down. The plant status is continuously monitored online and the records archived. Waste that's not suitable for hydraulic backfill can be dealt with in a special system and loaded into big bags. This is carried out primarily at the Zollstedt plant. The waste is delivered by road in bulk goods vehicles. After being weighed and checked, it's blown into the silos. Lye is added and the waste filled into the big bags. These big bags are stored and then taken below ground by hoisting gear. Once underground, the big bags are transported to the prepared mines in special transporters, where they are installed using appropriate methods. Most of the bulk material is also used in Zollstedt. It's received in the bulk materials hall. Here the waste doesn't need to be sifted, it's transported underground in containers, special loaders or trucks. Winding machines in both Bleicherode and Zollstedt are automatic. They're only controlled manually when people and special materials are being transported. The plant capacity and production schedule are planned so that input quality is maintained even in the event of technical malfunction, meaning that incoming vehicles can be emptied without long delays. 100 Tage sind hohe Aufwendungen notwendig um das Weitfahrtzeitbike das Streckennetz zu unterhalten und die Voraussetzungen für das Einbringen des Bergversatzes zu gewährleisten. Die Sanierung und Neuerfahrung von Strecken, die Versatzfeldvorbereitung und der Rohrleitungsbau bedürfen erheblicher finanzieller Mittel. Ebenso sind hohe Aufwendungen notwendig für die Instandhaltung der Bergbaugroßgeräte, die Fahrzeuge, die Elektroinstallationen und die Wartung und Instandhaltung der elektrischen Anlagen. Für die Wetterführung, die Lagenhaltung und die Schachtförderanlagen müssen ebenfalls hohe Aufwendungen betrieben werden. Mine blowers and special and auxiliary ventilation systems ensure that sufficient air is supplied to the areas where the required heavy-duty machinery is operating. The flow and composition of the air is checked at regular intervals. Automatic gas warning systems ensure that gas levels are continuously monitored. A visual alarm is given if critical levels are reached.
Maximum attention is paid to mine roof and impact safety. Rock thrust results in softening of the ground contours. Timber drawing machines and cutters are used regularly to maintain safety levels in the galleries. New drifts are mainly made using part-face heading machines to ensure good contour stability. Monitoring subsidence and deformation is an important task that helps identify any critical rock mechanic conditions at an early stage. A network of 19 underground and 10 overground geophones is installed for seismic monitoring. A central computer continually evaluates the incoming data and notifies of any critical conditions. Results to date have proved that backfilling with non-mining waste is an excellent means of ensuring public safety. NDAG is also committed to honouring mining traditions. The annual St. Barbara Festival and other mining celebrations are popular cultural events. We support the Bleicherode Glück auf Miners Association, which is involved in the various mining festivities and has shown a great deal of commitment in preparing and maintaining historical mining exhibits. We look forward to a pleasant partnership.